view this morning, huh? It is day two on our Nile River cruise. We spent about an hour sailing up the Nile this morning and now we're at our first stop. Not off to the smoothest start this morning. Kara was crossing from one boat to the next and dropped her lens cap in the Nile and it was all hands on deck. Everybody was swimming in the water trying to find it. Casual camel on our walk. Camels, puppies. One thing I find really fascinating in Egypt so far is you're either in super lush green lands or complete desert. And we learned that that's because for thousands of years the Nile would overflow onto the land once a year and it would fertilize all the land along the river and then they built a dam in Aswan so it doesn't overflow anymore but things only grow where it used to overflow and everything past that doesn't. It's a very defined line. Our first stop of the morning, ancient tombs carved into the side of this mountain. So we just finished learning a ton about hieroglyphics, how you can read them, and it's just absolutely crazy how much we can know about people's lives that lived 4,000 years ago just from some pictures. Yeah, and one of the carvings had a guy bringing his wife flowers, like a bouquet <laughs> of flowers, and it's just so funny to know how long that's been around, like thousands of years. Men have been bringing their wives flowers. <laughs> also, there's graffiti on the walls from the 1800s, which is crazy. <laughs> like, that would be history in the U.S., and here yeah. it's graffiti. All right, now back to the boat. out for the first time and I'm so excited! The crazy thing is this boat that we're on right now actually doesn't have a motor. All of yesterday it was too windy to sail and so we were being pulled by a tugboat. But not anymore! Oh, they're, they're massive. so fascinating. It seems like every time we go on a sailboat we never use sails. No. So we get really excited anytime the sails come out. The one time they put the sails out on a boat that we were on there was a <laughs> thunderstorm like a flash thunderstorm and we almost tipped over and it was really scary. Hopefully not today. <laughs> These guys are looking pretty blue. We've just arrived in the town of Edfu and now we are taking the local transportation to what we've been told is one of the most well-preserved temples in all of Egypt. 
Je donne maintenant le filet, je donne. Ah, allez, allez, bébé. Allez. You want me to sit with you? Ok. Ok. Hi. You're like a queen. What is your name? Mustafa. 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 Je suis au club de la Tmalmino, je suis au club de la What's the name, Habibi? Kara. Kara. No baby. Not yet. No baby. Must have got five baby. Five. Five baby. Wow. Wow. Oh, I'm not. He's letting me drive. All right. You can take a nap. Wait. You can take a nap. Ah, the tempest. Number five. Number five. Oh, number five. This is the Edfu Temple, and it is without a doubt the coolest temple that we've been to since we've been in Egypt. It's massive, tons of intricate carvings, but there's not supposed to be any filming, so I'm sure I'll be able to do it justice. We're trying to keep it low key so we don't have to pay somebody to keep our camera <laughs> flash, put our camera away. This temple was built in 52 BC, so it's basically brand spanking new compared to some <laughs> other things that we've seen. But it was under the sand for thousands of years before they found it in 1860, and it took them 40 years to dig it all out. But that's why it's so well preserved. Like. And there's all these little rooms, and it still has a roof, so you can really feel what it was like. It's incredible. Jasmine, lotus, papyrus, you know, different ones. These are all perfume recipes. This was the perfume laboratory of this temple. And watch this, I can read hieroglyphic numbers. You read it from top to bottom. I know what the numbers look like, but I don't know what the symbols are. So, wait, where'd it go? Where's that one that I could read? Hold on. Okay, I so this is 10 and marks are one, so it's 11. And then I know that this means water, so it was 11 drops of water. And then, this, so this would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine drops of something else. I don't see any markers, but it's pretty cool. And when they found this temple, there was a bottle of perfume and they opened it up and it had lotus flowers in it and it still smelled good. Insane that we're here visiting these. I've said incredible too many times. <laughs> these places, and there's just so few tourists. I love it's it. It's like the perfect time to be in Egypt. And now we're going to get back on our horse and carriage. <laughs> to take us back to our boat. brick wall for 2,400 years. Still standing as Egyptians. They were good builders. Seriously. We're putting the sails down for the first time and I have... Down? Up. Putting them up. sails go up. Yeah, but they were already, they were up and now they're... Out. Going up, out. <laughs> That's a better way. Take me to the temple! Hey, what's the name? Lamia. 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 One baby. Yeah. 